Okay, so what I want to do, I want to go in and show you some X-Gen. So I'm going to go here to create. I've made my scene, uh, I should point out that my scene is a uh, normal grid size. I've gone back to the defaults. I usually have it very large and life size. Um, but I'm going to go here, create polygon pronos. We'll create a plane. Whoop, whoop. And I'm just going to go in here and I'll grab a vertice or something and make this kind of stick up so it looks kind of more interesting maybe. Okay, great. So there's a nice plane. Freeze the transformations. Kill the history. And I'm going to put it onto a layer so I can hide it and bring it back if I want to. I'm going to zip into the general editor's content browser. And the content browser, got it open over here. I was poking around in the paint effects section of the contact browser. And what do I see? Flowers. Roses. Um, blue irises. Tulips. Um, we'll go in here and I'll just grab, how about a ruse? Okay, the images look kind of crappy. You can model your own. You can take this as a base and make something out of it. I'm just going to make the brush a bit bigger and I'll pull out a rose. Okay, if you keep dragging, you'll get a bunch of them. Here, I'm just going to delete those. Um, and <clears throat> so this thing is a paint effects and most renderers don't seem to like the paint effects. You have to convert them into, make convert, uh, paint effects to polygons and put on quad output convert and boom it's a polygon I'm just gonna go I was playing around the rendering here I'm gonna go back to modeling hit combine um, I can put a new shader on it hold on D and V I'm gonna move the pivot point down here and I'm going to center it over here in the grid freeze transformations kill the history um, yeah you can put whatever shader you want to on this. I know some of the default shaders that PaintFX come with become render pigs in Arnold and V-Ray and Mental Ray and all those things. But this one's looking good. Okay, let's bring back this plane. So, and actually I notice over here I've got the plane and I've, I've had a stroke. There's a stroke and there's some curves on here. I'm just gonna delete those and get rid of them so we just have the rose. Rose. Okay, and I got a plane. Great. I'm just going to select the plane and I'm going to go to the uh, generate XGen editor. And I'm going to go to uh, create a new description. When I do that, we'll call this description, uh, we'll say demo description underscore, and we'll call this the demo collection. Okay, and I'm going to use custom geometry archives so I can bring in my own pieces of geometry. And I'll hit create. And it's done it. Um, there's nothing really hooked up right now. We're in the primitive section of XGen. Okay, and I'm just down here in the archive section. I'm going to select this rose and I'll go here to create from selection. And let's just go in here and I'll say rose archive. And if I hit export, it's going to save it as an archive, and I forgot to save the freaking scene. And it so conveniently helped me, and let's just go in here and I'll say test, save as, yes, continue. It saves it. Now this thing here is going to hang for, I don't know, less than a minute. It always hangs here at zero, and then immediately goes to 100%, and then it's over. Uh, depending on the size of your object, if you've got a bigger object, it's going to take longer. And any time now, any time, is it worth pausing? Nope, there, it just did it. And finish off, finish, 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 gone. Okay, so now I gotta select my surface here again. Uh, this thing, I can hide it if I want to. I'll put it over here. I'll save that for later. Um, I can go over here and select this and I can hit add. And where are we? Old Greg scenes. And if I go into here, archives, we've got a rose. Boop. And you want blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it puts in a bunch of roses in here. Now these roses are controlled by the size. This is counterintuitive. They come in relatively large. If I want to make them smaller, I have to make the size increase. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go up to the top. Density. You can make it so there's more and more of them. Okay, this is starting to get heavy. I have noticed if you hit undo, everything hangs for about five to 10 minutes. So try not to use undo when you're doing this. Now, the next thing <clears throat> is I'd like to control where the roses are. So uh, I can go over here and I can create a map. 
Hill drop down button says create map. Um, actually, just before I do this, one other thing I just forgot about is I might not want to put a new material on here because this is the default Lambert. I'm going to put on a fresh Lambert. If you put on V-Ray materials or Arnold materials, it won't work. It likes Lamberts, Fongs, Blends. I'd stick with a Lambert unless you really need something like a blend for some reason. You probably might have two surfaces, one for rendering, one ground for rendering, and the other one just for generating X-Gen. So color doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter here. Everybody's gray. Um, and if I go down here into my mask, uh, there's a little... Uh, hold on a second. Oh, I put on the material. And if I go in here, create map and mask, say 15. Okay, great. Create. Um, and I created it all white. Um, if I go over and I, it brings up this uh, 3D paint tool. Maya does have a 3D paint tool. It lives in the rendering section under texturing 3D paint tool. But currently this is dealing with PTEX, and that's one of the other reasons that needs the Maya default materials. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and let's see, what was I horsing around with here? Color. If I put the flood paint onto black, it goes black, but we still see all the roses, right? There's a save button down here, but it doesn't do anything. You have to hit the save button that's over here. And that gets rid of it. Then I'm going to go over here to my paintbrush, and I want to paint white. Okay, let me paint white. And my brush is really big, and I was horsing around with paint effects brush. Okay, there. So I'll just go into paint, and I'll paint some areas here. Okay, and if I hit save, bloop, they come back. Okay, and you got things like the blur brush. I'm just going to go in here and I'll make this big and blur the edge. Okay. And I'll hit save. And that kind of staggers out some of these things around the edge. I also kind of like this smear brush. Um, let's just make it bigger. And I'll smear some little veins of roses out here. Okay. And uh, go ahead and I'll hit uh, save again. And whoop, now I get little shreds out like that. So this is cool. Um, next thing I want to do, let's close this down. I'm going to switch from this to this. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> and actually, I'm looking at the size of five. I kind of like them when they're a little bit bigger. Okay, something like that. Say two. Okay. Now, they're all kind of the same size. That's when I get to play around with this primitive attributes here for like length and width. Uh, maybe the first one I'll play with here is I'm just going to go down to the twist. Okay, now you could twist them around. Okay, but over here there's an option, there's create a map. Right beside that, this little button here creates an expression. And it tells you right here, good idea for the length here, for the expression here. Negative uh, 180 to 180. So if I go in here and I copy over this and I type in rand, and remember, I am not a, a, a coder guy. I can just kind of hack my way through some of this stuff. And let's do that. Rand. Negative 180 to, eight, to 180. And if I hit apply, they all become randomized. They're still all the same size, and I can hit accept. That closes the window. Um, I can go over here to the length. And the length, you, that's going to do it all uniformly. If I go over here, I can create an expression and uh, rand uh, bracket, we'll say one comma space two bracket, and I'll hit apply and accept. And now they're all various lengths. If it's too much, if it's too extreme, remember that it's, you can actually get to the code right here. So instead of two, let's go in here and I'll put in, say, uh, one uh, point of three. And now we get a bit more variation that's kind of subtle. They're all different lengths and subtle. And you can play with their width as well. I can take this and copy that. And then I could go in here and I can create this and control V, paste it in, apply and accept. And now they have a slight thickness difference and maybe I want to play with that a little bit. What if I change it to three? There. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, let's leave that. Oh, and ooh. I just hit undo. That's bad. But it worked out fine. You can play around with these things. They're tilt and everything like that. Um, if, oh, and I just did it. Okay, there it is. 
Um, I'm going to pause. This takes about five minutes. Oh! Oh! It kicked out pretty quick. Okay, good. Um, now, maybe I want to have another bunch of uh, vegetation in here. If I go in and I create a new, I got a surface selected, if I create a new description, I call it description, I'll call it uh, guy description, custom, and I'll hit uh, create. And we're now on the guy description. There's a demo over here, but we're on guy. I can go in and add in a new one. And I was playing around with something earlier I found in the content browser. I'll bring them in. There. <laughs> That's what I like. There. And we'll put them in. They, they all seem to look like Stephen Harper or something like that almost. But where are all those kittens that I kicked out of the parliament buildings? I may I'll change the size to say six, so it's all kind of relatively even. And I can do the same thing if I grab the plane. I can um, go into the, uh, well, actually my density is sitting at one, so that's kind of a lot. How about a 0.5? Okay, so there's less. And then if I go to the mask here, we can go and create a map. Yes, mask two. I'll make that one uh, black great <clears throat> and if you save it whoop, you see they all go away and I go to the paint tool and we'll paint with white and I just want to paint in some oh and we're on the smear I gotta go to paint okay also too if you really get into it you might notice that uh, was it this one get brush no it's this one here you will find that hidden inside of Maya there is a bunch of like little brushes like this. There's leaky and hatch. And uh, actually, let's stick with leaky. Where did it see leaky? Fleece. Okay, let's stick with foliage. And you'll see that when you're uh, painting. Oh, what did it just do? Oh, it wants me to really paint. I'm going to have to. You know what? Don't do what I just told you to do. I was horsing around too much. Yeah, stick with this one. <laughs> Sorry, I went off on one of my little tangents, and I was incorrect. You're not allowed to do what I thought you might be able to do. Okay, great, and I'll hit save, and those little men show up in there, and I could randomize them and all that stuff. And I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you need to know, preview output, in here there's your renderer, so you can pick your various renderers that you want to render with, um, so that they will show up. Uh, and there is potentially some more tricks depending upon what we've got here for the services, but this gets you into the ballpark on how to use XGen. Stop!